Welcome back. This is your quick reference guide to navigating in the terminal. All right, so these are going to be the commands that you want to use to figure out where you are, how to move through the files and the folders on your system, and be able to do that without having to constantly be switching back and forth between your finder window and your program and anything else that you're using uh, to build your tools. So what we want to do is first of all, go over how to find out where you are on your machine. There are two commands that are going to be your best friend for figuring out kind of where you are in context and how to find out what's what do you have access to. So the first one is PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory. So this is how we're going to find out where am I. I see that I have this first clue, nav test, but maybe I don't remember what the context is. Is that inside the documents folder? You know, where am I? So I'm going to hit enter and now I can see the full path to where exactly I am right now. So it's actually on the desktop. And so that's pretty useful and we'll actually be able to use this path a few times uh, coming up. So stick around. So the next thing we need to know is what's in this folder that I'm in. We're going to list out what is inside this folder by typing ls. And there we have it. We've got a folder in here. And then we also have a file here. And we can tell folders apart because they don't have an extension. So now that we know what we have access to, let's say we want to move into this first folder. And uh, how are we going to do that? How do we move around? Well, let's take a look at what commands we have available for this. All right, so I'm going to clear the screen. And now what we want to do is we want to move into that first folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the directory by typing CD and then I'm going to start typing first because I know that that's the name of the folder and I can actually hit tab and it will auto complete since it can guess what I'm trying to type uh, since there's nothing else that starts with those letters. So now that that is auto filled, I can hit enter and now we can see that our little context here has changed to first, which is the folder that I wanted. And now we can again ls, see what else is available. We see we have a second folder, so let's go ahead and go in there. And ls one more time. Let's even go down one more time, all the way down the rabbit hole. And now we've reached to the, a point where there are no more folders, so there's nowhere else for us to go as far as going down this folder structure. Now that we've hit the bottom, we actually want to go back up to the top. Let's say we want to skip second and go right back to the first folder. Now there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We can again print working directory and maybe we'll just grab this whole thing. We know that we want first the first folder so we can just highlight this command copy and then go ahead and CD and we're going to want to put this in quotes. So I'm going to type the uh, single quote right there. I'm going to paste in that path and I'll put a, uh, an ending quote there. Now, why am I doing this? Because nav test has a space in the folder name. Now, uh, probably a lot of your folders have spaces in them. So this is really important. Put them in quotes so that the computer actually knows <laughs> where to go. So I hit enter and now we can see I am indeed back into that first folder. Now there's actually a shorter way of getting up folders. So let's actually go back into the third folder and we'll do that a little bit faster too. So I'm going to say CD. I know that second is the folder and I also know that third is the folder inside of second that we need to go to. So I can actually just chain those on and again, hitting tab auto completes it because it knows where it is in the, in the file system. So now I can hit enter and we've gone all the way back down to the third folder. Now let's try to go back up to the first folder, but let's not have to do all that copying and pasting. So we can actually change directory again because we want to move and we can use this command dot dot slash. Now what this means is go up one folder from where you are right now. And you can again chain this on. So by doing it, just once we know that we're going to move back up into the second folder, but we want to get to the first so we can do one more time dot dot slash 
and hit enter and now we're back at the first folder and that was a lot faster so now as a bonus tip and thanks for watching all the way to the end of this if you are a mac user there is a trick to getting the path of a folder let's say we had gone in here and we know that we want to get back into the second folder um, but for some reason i'm i'm you know on the desktop or somewhere else that's kind of hard and i don't want to go through the terminal you can actually use command option C when you've got your folder selected. So what that does is in your clipboard, it actually adds the path to that folder or file. And so we can actually CD. Again, I'm gonna use the quotes just in case there are any spaces, which I know there are. And now I'm back into the second folder without having to do very much. So there's your power tip if you're a Mac user. Now, those are just the basics of how to move around and navigate in the terminal, but what if I want to be able to actually interact with files and folders? I want to create some, I want to move them around, I want to delete them. Well, we're going to cover that in the next video, so check it out right here.